Hi, my name is Omoni Oboli, Nollywood actress and filmmaker. When I was going to do Wives on Strike, it was back in 2013. The whole issue of Child Bride was at the fore and everyone was talking about it. And I wanted to do a movie that would address that um, social issue. But then I didn't want to do just any kind of movie. I didn't want to do an, a movie that screamed advocacy. Uh, because I feel like advocacy movies tend to be quite boring or a little bit preachy and people don't really like watching them because they're not as entertaining as um, regular movies. So I thought about using comedy as a medium to drive home this message. And I feel like there's a very thin line between do, doing comedy and, and doing comedy with a serious message. You know, you've got to find a way to make it work in a way that people laugh, they're entertained, but they don't lose the message. So that's what we try to do with Wives on Strike. I was very confident. It was my third movie as a director and I feel like um, I had grown in confidence at that point, you know. Um, I mean, you still have butterflies in your stomach every time you're doing a project. You're still thinking, I hope people accept it. I hope they like it. I hope um, it makes my money back, <laughs> you know. So yes, um, I had all those thoughts, but I was confident that I was doing a good movie. My cast were amazing. They are amazing. I mean, people like Uche Jombo, Choma Akbota, Ufo Mamak Demot, Kende Bankole, Peggy Ovire, Julius Agu, Kenneth Okonkwo, so many of them, too numerous to mention. They were simply amazing. You know, a lot of them are my friends, like really close personal friends. And they didn't give me any hassle at all. You know, um, Uche was four months pregnant when we were shooting. I mean, that's for the pregnancy that she lost. But um, she never gave me issues any day. If I say call time is 8 a.m., she's there at 8 a.m. Ufoma had just had a baby. Her baby was really little. Her baby was even ill at a point, you know. And there were times we were shooting. I had to literally carry her baby. I had to feed him, give him his drugs, you know. But they didn't, they didn't give me any hassles at all. Everyone came on time. It was just, it was a happy set. And you know, it's comedy, so there were many moments of laughter. My DP is um, American, and he would he would just bust into laughter so many times. He, sometimes he's just waiting for me to say cut so he can laugh. He's like, Nigerians are really funny people, you know? So it was it was always happiness and set. I mean, I had, we had our issues, obviously, you know? Um, you would always have issues on set, you know? Pro problems that would arise because, you know, our budgets are usually not as high as they're supposed to be. So the kind of issues that money would solve easily, but you don't have that money, so you have to look for other ways, you know? So, but it, all in all, it was a good set, and we had a lot of fun shooting Wives on Strike. I feel very good. I feel very blessed because, I mean, you're in the cinema and everyone is cracking up. They're laughing. I get so many messages on social media. The movie has been out for just one week and I've gotten hundreds, thousands of messages on social media, people just talking about the movie. I mean, just just search the hashtag Wives and Strike on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and you will be amazed at how Nigerians have accepted this movie. They've come out in their droves. I mean, for a non-holiday weekend, the movie grossed over 15 million. It's unprecedented. It's never happened before. It's never happened before. Not for a Hollywood film. It's, it's really been amazing. The feedback is... It's beyond me, really. Mm -hmm.